So 10.5 seconds. We'll see now what happens when we push the closed door button. So it was faster. 8.7. That was two seconds faster. Welcome back to another Let's See What Happens. Today, I'm in an elevator checking to see if the closed door button actually works. Life is full of rules. Small or big, they impact almost every part of our lives. Together, let's see what happens when we break the small everyday rules. We have all been there. Late to a meeting, in rush to get somewhere, or just plain old being impatient. And the elevator's doors seem like it takes a year to close. So what do you do? You start jabbing the closed door button as if the faster you push the button, the faster it will close. And then you still get frustrated because it seems like it takes the same amount of time to close. I've had had numerous conversations on an elevator where people are actively pushing the closed door button and saying, this button doesn't work. In fact, while filming this video, a guy came up to me and asked what I was doing, and I told him I was testing to see whether or not the closed door button works. He asked it whether or not it does, and I said, on this elevator, it's the exact same. So he thanked me and proceeded to get in the elevator and push the closed door button, and then laughed to himself and turned to me and said, I still push the closed door button. So in order to test, whether or not the closed door button actually works. I went to 10 different elevators and timed how fast the door closed when I pushed the door closed button and when I pushed the floor button. Okay, before I jump into the results, I wanna explain a few things first that are relevant. So back in the 1990s, the United States Congress passed an act called the Americans with Disabilities Act. This act is meant to help those with disabilities and it includes some regulations about elevators. It states that elevator doors must remain fully open for at least three seconds. The United States Access Board that governs how these regulations are enforced states regarding these three seconds that, and I quote, user activation cannot reduce the minimum open time, but can control reopening time. Basically, that would mean that the button would only work if the elevator is programmed to keep the doors open for longer than the three seconds. I should also note that these three seconds is a minimum and it can be longer depending on the circumstances. After riding 10 different elevators, I found that the closed door button only would make the doors close faster on two elevators. On the other eight elevators, it did not matter if you're pushing the closed door button or not. If you enjoyed this video, please like below. Like this content about everyday experimentation, please subscribe. Also, if you have any ideas for my next video, please leave them in the comments below.